So here now, my first encounter with this animal is when I was a wee lad and still inculcated with the foolishness of youth. At the time I was visiting my uncle and saw this thing on the ground and thought it was a caterpillar. I was then told by some of the adults that were standing around it was a type of coral snake while we watched it disappear into the soil. Later on in life, I learned it was not a snake but in fact a lizard. A legless lizard. Yes, this is a lizard. This is known as the black and white worm lizard, black and white legless lizard, speckled worm lizard, black and white coral, double headed serpent, two headed serpent or two headed snake, spotted worm snake, serpent edux tets, amphisbena fuliginosa. And it belongs to a group of lizards known as amphisbenas. There are over 200 different types of amphisbenas found across Africa, Europe, Middle East, North, Central and South America, also the Caribbean. And this is one of only two species of amphisbenas found in Trinidad. So far, there has been no records of them in Tobago. Despite some of the names people, well some people may call them, they are harmless towards humans. They possess no venom or poison. The black and white worm lizard is as the name suggests, it is black and white. Sometimes some individuals may have more white than others, other times they have more black and sometimes equal proportion of colors of black and white. They have a short bobby tail and a small fat head almost in line with its neck and body. This species has no eyelids and very small almost unnoticeable eyes that is underneath its scales. Two, two small eyes, look kinda cute. Their mouth is small, but it has a strong bite and will bite if need be. But unlike snakes that can unhinge their jaws into four parts so that they can eat prey larger than their heads, this lizard cannot do that. So unlike snakes, it cannot eat anything larger than its mouth. They feed mostly on invertebrates like ants, worms, centipedes, spiders, etc. But I've heard some reports of them eating small snakes and snake eggs. When it comes to breeding or reproduction on this lizard, not much is known as yet, well as of the making of this video. But what they do know is that they lay eggs on the ground, under the leaf litter, away from prying eyes. When they hatch, they look no different from the adults. The black and white legless lizard can grow to a length of around 18 inches and that makes it the smaller of the two species of amphisbenas found in Trinidad. The black and white legless lizard is active most of the times in the evening, nights and early mornings, but occasionally you can see them inching about during the day. But even though you may see them inching around, going about their business, they often move underground or in the thick leaf litter, compost or in the dirt on the forest floor. If this lizard feels as if it's in danger, they will freeze or sometimes move backwards and slightly raise its tail. It does so to make its tail look like its head, so a predator could mistake it for such, reaches for its tail and so being a lizard, it will break off its tail and hopefully escape. But sometimes the tail doesn't drop as planned. So the lizard will sometimes swing around and bite. And as mentioned before, they can bite hard. They will bite and twist until whatever is holding them will let them go. The lizard that is dropped will quickly then dig into the soil for safety or inch away and look for somewhere safe to hide. Now thankfully, there is no snake in Trinidad that looks close to this species of lizard. No snake you could mistake, well you can't really mistake this lizard or a snake for each other, yeah, yeah there is no resemblance. Yeah, yeah, um, anyways, so next time you see this lizard or anyone telling you this lizard is a snake, send them this video. And as you all know, I am the wildlife master and until next time, blessings and Bless out.